Okay, man, this is it. I think, yep, 11 kilometers of tunnel. As you can see there. Here we go, Mont Blanc tunnel. Oh, it's a bit loud. Uh, that's probably because the window is wide open. any lorry drivers off. They're not making decent time. Here we go, 11 kilometres man, fucking hell. My life, that's a long flipping tunnel. Oh, bits of ice there. Yeah, okay, nice bit of spray from all these wagons going by. When I was a kid, my dad would always say, hold your breath when you go through a tunnel. I think I'd fucking die if I tried to do that going through this tunnel. I'm going to wind this window up as well, because it's bloody loud. So yeah, no. For, like, if I was a kid, when I was a kid and I tried to hold my breath through tunnels, I would mega or be dead after a few minutes in this tunnel. 11.3 kilometres long, I think it is. Uh, I'll try and film it all and just talk some random shit while I'm doing it. Hopefully, they do monitor with cameras apparently, but hopefully, they won't be like, Oi, what were you doing? Filming. Uh, I can't see why they would, but hopefully, they wouldn't. Um, I need to watch my speed, I've no idea the speed limit is through here so I just need to chill out not go too fast at all uh, in case it's got some shady speed limit that I had no idea what the speed limit is so that's two minutes and we're now heading towards France I guess there's no checkpoint on that side which makes me think Checkpoints is going to be on the other side of the tunnel, but then it is only France and Italy, and I don't think they uh, they give that much of a shit to be honest. There's not really major dodgy shit. Well, there is probably a lot of major dodgy shit going on between the borders, like Jordan and but I don't think it's there. It, it concerns them so much. So there we go. What have we got here? We've got a little sign saying respect the distance. No, keep your distance. Respetate la distance. Keep your distance. Well, I don't think I'm in any danger of running into the back of the guy in front because he's about half a mile down the road. I'm just going to switch the, switch the little thing on so I can actually see my rear view mirror, which is clouded, unfortunately. That's not good. I better stick the Eat a thing on. So anyway, here we go. One blunt tunnel. Oh, here was a fucking pricey though. This is fucking thirty-five euros. Thirty-five euros for this for eleven kilometres. That's fucking rip off. I don't know how fast I'm going, but the dude behind starting to catch up. So, obviously, as you look at my dashboard and you can't see anything, or there's nothing moving, that's because it broke about 6,000 miles ago. I've been using my laptop to check the speed, but unfortunately, when you're in a tunnel, GPS systems don't seem to work too well. So. I'm just going to have to wing it, uh, hope I'm doing about 70 kilometres an hour and uh, yeah, hopefully I won't get busted by a little gendarme on the other side who says, Oi, what do you think you're doing speeding through our tunnel? So hopefully I won't be busted.
I did take some video of me driving up a big snowy hill but I got stuck and had to reverse back down so I thought I'd better delete that because to be fair I look like a bit of an idiot <laughs> so, so I deleted that of uh, those videos unfortunately they were edited from the documentary the feature length film unfortunately they were not featuring so there's a wagon and here we go I don't know if we're going down or up, it looks like we might be going down in a minute. Uh, but this is a very long tunnel. So if I was doing 60 kilometres an hour, which I'm probably doing, by my reckoning, uh, when I get to the other side, it should be about 11 minutes long. Should have been talking shit for about 11 minutes. Okay, now this is mega tripping. We're going down now. A fat steep hill. And it's mega tripping. We must be going down a mega long way. I was thinking, if there was like a nuclear bomb or a comet strike, you'd be well safe. Well, you wouldn't be well safe, but I reckon if you were down in this tunnel, you're fucking inside a Maui. So I reckon the initial thermonuclear blast will, might not find its way down here. But then what you've got to worry about is fat tsunamis. If fat tsunami came down here, I reckon you'd be well drowned well quickly. Okay, that's nearly seven minutes of filming now. Fucking hell, this is a long tunnel. What have we got here? Distance equals two blue lights. Oh, I don't know what they're trying to tell me here. Are they trying to say speed up? Are they trying to say... Keep your distance, two blue lights, but isn't that like half a mile? These blue lights are about every fucking 400 yards or so. Okay, the wagon behind is getting a little bit closer, which means I'm going pretty slow. I don't know what that dude, he had a little road sign on his car, it was well tripping. I don't know if you just saw that. I don't know what his job is. Drive up and down, say, come on, son, you're going too slow. In which case, I'll probably be getting one of those little cars fairly soon, arrive behind me. Hopefully not a police car. This wagon behind looks crazy, I don't know if you can see it, it's like got two blue light lights and then some crazy soul sphere looking thing in, the, in, in where the driver should be, I don't know if he's watching TV or what, maybe. Maybe he's doing what I'm doing and just randomly chatting shit whilst filming, going through a big long tunnel. But I must look like some sort of bloody tunnel fucking freak because I've taken loads of pictures, tunnels and mountains, and it's like that. Oh. <laughs> Here is another tunnel. Oh. Now this tunnel, if I carry on, by the time I'm 50, I'll just know everything about tunnels. I'll be going for a tunnel and go, yep. This tunnel is made out of granite. It was made in 1850 and 500 people made it. And uh, one of them broke his leg when he was trying to lay the 100 stone. And there's a monument to the 100 stone there. Ah, oh, and also. Anyway, you get the idea, I'll be a boring bastard if I carry on with my love for tunnels. So I think I'm going to chill with the tunnels for a bit, because uh, after this, this will have satisfied my tunnel lust, I reckon. I reckon there will be no need to document any more tunnels after this one, as this is like the mother of all tunnels. This tunnel probably actually gave birth to all the other tunnels around the world. They probably all actually sprang from this tunnel's 
tunnel -y way. If it has a way, I'm not sure if it has a way. The tunnels have worms? I'm not sure. There's a question for you. Anyway, there's loads of SOS things on the way down. And that is now nearly ten and a half minutes of film. Oh, hello. On the floor there, it said exit one kilometre. So if it's 11... Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I don't reckon I've been speeding then. As long as it, it's not before 11.30 on my camera, that means I've been doing about 60 kilometres an hour. Which is cool. Well, the wagon up in front is slowing right down. Oh, I think that said 500 metres till end of tunnel. Now it's just a wagon coming your way uh, I reckon I'm going to have to get rid of the camera pretty soon because there's probably going to be a police checkpoint or passport border control and here we go, France I think, cool